have you wondered how to find x in this type of question let's start immediately welcome to today's class and trust me you are going to enjoy the ride first we are asked to the question says we should find the value of x in this particular question now we have that 64 to the power of x is equal to square root of what 16 times root 8 okay now once you look at this notice that all of them can be expressed in base 2, base 2, base 2. But we're going to do that with some kind of strategy so that we'll be able to get our solution, all right? So first of all, 64 is 2 to the, base, uh, 2 to the power of 6. So we have 2 to the power of 6 to the power of x is equal to square root of 16 root 8, okay? Now recall the law of indices that states that a to the power of m raised to the power of n is equal to a to the power of mn that is m times n okay so we are going to apply that here that means this can be expressed as 2 to the power of 6 x right all right is equal to square root of 16 root 8. Now, let's square both sides of this equation. If we do that, we have that the whole of this squared, right, is equal to the whole of this squared. Now, just like I explained, we can write this as 6x times 2, which is 12x, right? So, we have 2 to the power of 12x is equal to, now, this square, we cancel this square root so we have 16 root what? 8. Okay. Now this is 2. This is 2 to the power of 12x. Okay. Is equal to 16. Now root 8 can be expressed as square root of 4 times 2. All right. So we have 2 to the power of 12x is equal to 16 then this is same thing as root 2 times root 4 times root 2 okay so this is same thing as square root of 4 times square root of 2 yes using the law of sod you can separate them so we now have 2 to the power of 12 x okay is equal to this is 12 12 x is equal to so we have 16 times root 4 is 2 times root what? Root 2. Now we have 2 to the power of 12x is equal to 16 times 2. We give us 32 root 2. All right, at this point, we need to square both sides of the equation again. So if we do that, we have 2 to the power of 12x squared is equal to 32 root 2 squared. All right, so this will be 12x times 2, right? So this side will be 2 to the power of 24x is equal to 13 to the power of 2. Then this we divide, we more, uh, cancel this, we, are ha we have only 2 remaining, all right? Yes, this 32 will be raised to the power of this 2. This root 2 will also be raised to the power of this 2. Now, but before we continue, if this is the first time you are stopping by, please uh, subscribe to the channel and on your notification bell so that you'll be notified anytime I upload a new video. All right. Then I will advise to watch to the end because to prove that the answer we got is actually the solution is a whole new mathematics solution on its own. All right. Just to prove that the solution is right also entails so many mathematical ideas all right now we have 2 to the power of 24x is equal to 32 squared dot 2 times 2 that is what we have here so we have 2 to the power of 24x is equal to now 32 is same thing as 2 to the power of 5 right so we have 2 to the power of 5 squared dot what 2 so this is 2 to the power of 24 is equal to 2, 5 times 2 is 10, times 2. 
and this two is same thing as two to the power of one. Now recall the law of indices that states that a to the power of x times a to the power of y, same base. You just need to pick one of the bases and then you add the powers. Okay, so we are going to apply this here. We are going to pick one, two, and we add the power. All right. So we now have 2 to the power of 24x is equal to 2 to the power of 10 plus 1, which is what? 11. Oh, let's just write it just for us not to skip our steps. All right. So we have 2 to the power of 24x is equal to 2 to the power of 11. Same base, the powers are equal. Once you have the same base, the powers are equal. All right. So we'll write 24 is equal to what? 11 all right so we divide both sides by 24 by 24 and when we do that we will this we divide this we are left with what that our x is equal to 11 over 24 now it's time to prove our uh, it's time to check if the solution is right or not okay and like i said pay attention because this is a whole new mathematics solution or problem on its own okay so we have that 64 to the power of x is equal to square root of 16 root 8, okay? Now, we got our x as 11 over 24. So we have 64 raised to the power of 11 over 24 is equal to square root of what? 16 is the same thing as 2 to the power of 4 dot square root of 8 is the same thing as 2 to the power of 3. So we have 64 to the power of 11 over 24 is equal to square root of 2 to the power of 4 times 2 to the power of 3 raised to the power of half. Yes, because square root sign is same thing as whatever it is raised to the power of half. Okay, so this half is for this root sign. So we have 64 to the power of 11 over 24 is equal to square root of 2 to the power of 4 times 2 to the power of this times this will give us 3 over 2. Now we have the same base. Let's do what? Let's multiply them together. So we have 64 to the power of 11 over 24 is equal to square root of... Now we have the same base, right? We are going to pick one and we are going to add the power, which is 4 plus 3 over 2. Now, if we solve that here, 4 plus 3 over 2, so the LCM is what? 2. Or uh, let's use the butterfly method to do that. So using the butterfly method, 1 times 2 will be the denominator, which is 2. Now, 4 times 2 will give us 8, plus 3 times 1 will give us 3. So we have 11 over 2. So that means when we pick one of the bases, if you add this to this, you have 11 over 2 as a new power, okay? So from here, 64, let's change 64 to base 2. And 64 to base 2 is what? 2 to the power of 6, all right? Now rest the power of what? 11 over 24 is equal to what? Now, this square root can be written as 2 to the power of 11 over 2 over 2 raised to the power of, because of this root sign, raised to the power of half. Okay? So, we have um, 6 divide itself. Or if we divide 24, you'll have what? 4. So, we have 2 to the power of 11 over 4 is equal to 2 to the power of 11 times 1 is 11 and 2 times 2 is what? 4. So that actually proves that the solution is right. Since the left-hand side of this equation is equal to the right-hand side of this equation. Thank you so much for watching and have a lovely day. Bye.